Good to see you, Matt. Hi, Dan. Hi, Charles. Um, Charles, I, uh, I picked up from your conversations with Dan, um, and you mentioned specifically um, Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab. Uh, so talking about um, them not really being sophisticated enough to be able to organise things that have been happening recently uh, on such a successful and grand scale which I, I, I completely agree with. I think I think they're more likely just very well resourced chances and opportunists. Um, but given also, uh, I picked up that you, 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 you were saying that this is nothing new under the sun, that these things have gone on before, that these things have been happening for, for decades, centuries, possibly millennia. Um, so, do you think that that there are that there are actually sort of common threads through that, as in as in that there are groups that are behind any of this, um, and 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 if so, I mean, does it even matter in terms of of us being able to to resist it or to um, you know to not not fall into line for them to get what they want? Okay, so first I'll say that that to believe that there is a that there is a group or groups that are kind of at the top of the pyramid orchestrating everything it buys into the same worship of control that runs our whole civilization and it, it gives um too much power to the the mindset of control so for that reason, because I think that there is intelligence outside the human being, there's an intelligence in the world in the, in the way that events organize themselves. There's such a thing as synchronicity that aligns itself around our state of consciousness to uh, reflect that consciousness back at us. Like you gotta take all these things into account. In, in any conspiracy theory, you can't ignore these things. Uh, and, and, and like these deep psychological forces that go back before the dawn of history that I've written about extensively, mob morality, for example. Now, it, now, you know, I do think that there are, um, I do think that there are conspiracies that are subsumed underneath this overarching structure, but they're not the primary explanation for the why the world is the way that they are, the way that it is. Or you could say that the most powerful people on earth are themselves puppets of ideologies, mythologies, unconscious social forces. So, and that's important because merely removing them from power is not going to change very much if we don't also act on the level of these psychic forces, psychosocial forces, mythologies. And that's that's what my work is about. So that, you know, maybe the revolution succeeds. I mean, usually what happens when the revolution succeeds is that it replaces the old tyrants with new tyrants. I don't want to see that happen. We have to change the ground, the ground 